Cravings Tertiary Wastewater Treatment Plant is located in Modesto, California, and is the result of over a decade of planning on how best to address the requirements of the California Title 22 standards and the needs of the surrounding farming community of the Stanislaus County. Commissioned in February of 2015, the MemPulse Membrane Bioreactor, MBR system, with B40N membranes consists of six trains, each producing 2.1 million gallons a day. I grew up here in Modesto. I was raised in Modesto and went to local schools here. And one of the things I wanted to do when I came back to Modesto was find a way to give back to the community. Water is very important here in Modesto because as our city motto says, it's water, wealth, contentment, health. Over the last 100 years, water is the basis of how this community thrives. 100% of the water that is sent to the Jennings plant is reused in some form or fashion. At MEMCOR has helped, uh, the membrane itself has helped Modesto produce recycled water right now and the proof and success of that project, we can see it now because we are selling recycled water to an irrigation district. With more agencies using MBRs and the technology getting better and getting through all the state testing, you've seen a big output in terms of how many people now are using MBRs. The plant that we have here is a scalping plant, so we do have a steady state of 12.6 million gallons a day through the MemCorp membrane plant, and that is a steady state, 24-7, 365. And part of what my job is to inform the rate payers on what they're getting, my job is to make sure that people are aware of the amazing things that we're doing here at the Jennings plant. We happily give tours to any group out here. We see a lot of schools, a lot of enge other engineering companies, a lot of other agencies come out just to see what we're doing out here and see how we're successful in producing recycled water. Overall, I think with the strict regulations that we have here in California, you're gonna see a lot more people looking at the MBR as a option for their treatment facilities. With the type of product that we have out there, it's worth it because now we are producing a high quality water product that people are wanting and, and have demand for recycled water throughout the state. The Mempulse uh, MBR system maintenance and operation has been very user friendly. Uh, not having to remove the membranes, uh, the more you have to handle the membranes, the more you run the risk of damaging them. So the design of the clean in place uh, and the chemical injection right into the system has alleviated a lot of that risk. Not all wastewater treatment plant operators are PLC experts. Uh, we need a, a simplified user interface and that's something I think the Mempulse system provided. We were able to intuitively get it to do the different things that we needed it to do. And so not only did the field techs of the mempool system help us understand the internal issues that that system might have, they also helped us understand what the upstream and downstream failures or different issues, how that's going to affect the process. Uh, the mempool system has been great. Right now our system operates at like a 0.04 to a 0.06 NTU, so we have plenty of headroom. We're constantly hurting our biology, doing these different shutdowns and stuff like that, and the mempool system is able to kind of take that on the chin and just keep moving, and that's uh, really helpful. My experience with technicians has been excellent. They were very, very attentive. A lot of the issues that we were experiencing were ignorance on our side. We didn't understand the system, and they were really patient and were able to work, work uh, through those issues with us. That, I think, is where you can actually grab the community. When they're able to see what the technology is capable of producing, they start to develop a little bit more trust in water recycling and water reuse because the technology exists. We can turn your wastewater into tap water quality, and we can do that by use of things like the mempool system. And so when we go to these different events and we're talking with other operators and stuff and they're going, oh gosh, you know, I'm getting the treatment that I want, I'm getting the, I just can't get my selection settle. I gotta do this thing and I gotta do this other thing. I kind of chuckle and say, no, I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. I can run my activated sludge to produce, to get rid of the nitrate, to get rid of the ammonia and the membranes take care of the rest. Recently went through some floods here in the valley uh, and we really pushed our equipment. We normally run our plant about 60% and we amped it up to about 90%, which was uh, one of a, a one-out test for us to see whether we can expel 70 million gallons a day on an evacuation emergency situation, which we ended up uh, accomplishing with no problem. We have another plant here on site that uh, is a little bit more tedious when it comes to uh, cleaning on a periodic basis. The membranes, they don't have a lot of demand on uh, periodic uh, preventative maintenance, uh, but as far as removing them, cleaning them, and uh, through the back pulsing and uh, operations that they implement, uh, they 
for us as uh, mechanics, it's absolutely maintenance free for us. It's uh, less maintenance, no handling of the MBRs. It's been pretty bulletproof really for the most part. I mean, it's uh, a lot nicer.